Good afternoon, everyone. My name is Dave Katz, and this afternoon we're exploring around the Western Finger Lakes on this beautiful spring day. This is my first time here, and we've come to explore a fascinating conservation story which has led to the protection of two beautiful lakes, Hemlock and Canadice. During the last glaciation, this whole region was covered with a continental ice sheet with ice as much as a mile thick in certain places. The erosional force of this thick ice helped deepen existing drainages and when the glaciers retreated, they filled with water and created these lakes we see today. Up until the 1770s, the Seneca people used this area for hunting and fishing. In September of 1779, George Washington dispatched John Sullivan to lead what was called the Sullivan Expedition, which ultimately, unfortunately, led to the destruction of 40 Iroquois villages in this region, some of the survivors of which migrated north into Canada. Shortly thereafter, in the 1790s, white settlers that were related to the lumber industry started populating the area. And in the early 1800s, the shorelines were populated with over 100 cottages and five hotels. And there was even a steamboat called the Seth Green which took visitors on scenic trips around Hemlock Lake. However, in the mid 1800s, the city of Rochester suffered a massive outbreak of illness that was related to contaminated drinking water. And in 1852 approved the construction of a 16 mile gravity fed pipeline that would supply the city of Rochester with clean drinking water from Hemlock and Canadice Lakes, which was completed in 1876. To further improve the water quality, the city of Rochester purchased the surrounding farms, cottages, and houses, which were demolished, and those that refused to sell were subject to eminent domain, meaning that they had to give up their property and were paid some sort of compensation for it. And basically for the last 125 years, both Hemlock and Canadice Lakes have been protected to supply the city of Rochester residents with clean drinking water, but also limited recreation opportunity for visitors. In 2010, the New York State Department of Environmental Conservation purchased the lakes from the city of Rochester and agreed to protect these lakes forever wild. Hemlock Lake is about 11 miles long and about a half a mile wide but only about 40 feet deep. Swimming is not allowed here, but fishing is quite popular. The lake has trout, bass, and even landlocked salmon. Motorboats need to be less than 16 feet in length and have less than 10 horsepower motors. Although I visited over 85 countries on seven continents, I will say, Visiting a place for the first time never gets old, and even better when the place is near your home and you can easily return to visit. I can't wait to come back here in the late summer or even fall, potentially even winter, and see how this beautiful landscape has changed. Hope you all have enjoyed this video, and I hope you're all having a great day wherever you are.